evening and welcome to Mashpee High School's Michael S. Horn Stadium for our 2021 Boys Soccer Senior Night. Before we introduce our Mashpee seniors, we would like to take a moment to recognize the seniors from Rockland. Number four, J.V. Arujo, captain. Number five, Adam Beatrice. Number seven, Carter Burke, captain. Number eight, Kevin Matos. Number nine, Luis Arujo. Number 10, Gavin Norton, captain. Number 13, Mateus Gomes. Number 14, Connor Levitt. Number 28, Jake Higgins. Number 68, Adam Pollard. Number 77, Tommy Gallagher, captain. And number 28, Jake Higgins. for the Mashpee Seniors. Number one, Luke Olson. Luke is a four-year member of the soccer program. Next year, he plans to attend college and major in digital arts. Tonight, he is accompanied by his mother, Catherine. Number one, Luke Olson. Next up is number three, Josh Crawford. Josh is a six-year member of the soccer program. Next year, he plans to attend college for digital architecture and continue playing soccer. Tonight, he is accompanied by his mother, Rachel, father, Ian, sister, Amy, and brother-in-law, Anthony. Number three, Josh Crawford. Next up is number four, Kyle Soares. <laughs> Kyle is a six-year member of the soccer program. Next year, he plans to attend college for business and hopes to continue playing soccer. Tonight, he is accompanied by his mother, Tammy, father, Marcelo, sister, Layla, grandparents, uncle, grandparents, uncle Freddie, aunt Rebecca, aunt Rebecca, sorry, cousins, John, Sarah, and Victoria. Number four, Kyle Soares. Next up, number seven, Nick Almeida. Nick is a four-year member of the soccer program and senior captain. Next year, he plans to attend college and major in business and hopes to continue playing soccer. Tonight, he is accompanied by his mother, Rafaela, father, Hernane, sister, Isadora. Number seven, Nick Almeida. Next up, number nine, Peter DeFrancesco. Peter is a six-year member of the soccer program, six-year member of the music program, and is in the all-state jazz drummer, first chair. Next year, he plans to attend college for music production and, and hopes to continue playing soccer. Tonight, he is accompanied by his mother, Sharon, and father, James. Number nine, Peter DeFrancesco.
Next up, number 10, Gabriel De Silvia. De Silva, sorry. Gabriel is a three-year member of the soccer program and led the team in scoring all three years. Next year, he plans to join the workforce and hopes to open his own business. Tonight, he's accompanied by his best friends, Paul, Hercules, and Brady, Dylan Barger, and Delaney Barger. Next up, number 11, Liam Farwell. Liam is a six-year member of the soccer program. Tonight he's accompanied by his dad, Josh, mom, Sheena, grandma, and Boomba. Number 11, Liam Farwell. Next up, number 15, Ryan Lima. Ryan is a five-year member of the soccer program and a senior captain. He is a three-year member of the ice hockey team. Next year, he plans to attend a four-year college and hopes to continue playing soccer. Tonight, he is accompanied by his mother, Lauren, father, Ryu, papa, cousins, Jordan, Jessica, aunts, Jesse, and Shelly, and uncle, Charlie, and also sister, Sammy. Number 15, Ryan Lima. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remove your caps for the singing of tonight's national anthem by Mashpee High School senior, Mr. William Henley. the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave Thank you. the only channel one that I don't know. No mic. Hello and good evening everyone. My name is Evan Penef and I'm recording for uh, Mashpee TV. Tonight's uh, game is between uh, Mashpee High School and uh, Rockland High School. This beautiful October night, we're going to 
hope we see in a lovely game. The starting 11 for uh, Mashpi Varsity. That is uh, number 15, Ryan Lima, who's a defense. Number 7, Nick Almeida, who's a forward. Luke Olsen, the goalie, with number 1. Keo Suarez, he's a defender with number four. Peter De Francesco, number nine, he's a forward. We having Josh uh, Crawford, number three, he's going to be a forward. Lima Forwell, number eleven. We have Gabriel da Silva, number ten. Sean Ware, number fourteen. Lucas De Helen, number twenty-one. And Michael McGrail, number five. Their formation is unknown. Uh, with the fact we have five defenders on the field, I assume it's going to be 5-3-3, no, 5-3-2, I'm not supposed to forget the goalie, and the away team of Rockland High Schools. Number four, Joao Victor uh, Araujo, he's the captain. Number five, Adam Beatrice. Number seven, Carter Burke, captain. There's, I guess, two captains. Kevin Matos do Naro Suarez Campos is number eight. Number nine, Luis Araujo. Number 10, Gavin Norton. Number 11, Joao Faria. Number 12, Ryan Sullivan. Number 20, Dylan Miller. Number 30, Jake Lucas. And number 77, Tommy Gallagher under the frame for the away team. While I was finishing the starting 11 for the away team, uh, the game is already started. There is some play in midfield for the away team, currently possessing the ball. There is a foul against the away team. Mr. De Silva tried to run behind the defense line. Unfortunately, one of the defenders tripped him over and now we're going to see a free kick from right about out of the penalty box. Behind the, the ball, it's There is a far kick from number five, Peter De Francisco, from the home team of Mashpee High School. The goalie sends the ball all the way in a Mashpee's half. Number 10, De Silva, possessing the ball right now. <coughs> He's trying to find an open team player. Sending it far away behind the defense line. Number nine for the home team got it out of bounds. So now it's gonna be a side throwing for the away team. Rockland do the side throw. Kind of some mid midfield passing game. That was far, far away from anyone's reach.
Now we're going to have Luke Olsen, the goalie, send the ball past midfield, trying to look some of the, his team players. Number 10, De Silva got it. Gabriel in possessing. He passed it to number 9. That's a good uh, forward attack. Unfortunately, Dakiak wasn't any power behind it, so the goalie make an easy save. After the first five minutes, we have attempts on for goal on both sides of the field. Currently, Rockland trying to make a good attack. The goalie, Luke Olsen, got the ball. He's about to send it past midfield. Far in. Want to do the announcing thing? <laughs> After some midfield game, currently the ball is possessing of the home team. There is some bouncing of the ball around, everyone trying to get their line straight. Rockland High School possessing, right past the midfield, number 20, pass it to number 10. And Gabriel De Silva make an attempt, got the ball, nice, nice fin. And lost possessing. Unfortunately, the ball is out of bounds. Now it's going to be a side throw for the Mashpee High School. Actually, ruling on the field from the referee is that actually Rockland has the ball. Fast execution on the side throw, and that leads to home team possessing the ball. Number 15, that is Theo Theodore, sending it far in Rockland's penalty area. The defense control the ball. <clears throat> Still the game is in the midfield. Losing possessions on both sides. Stolen balls. That's a nice forward game, but no one on the other side of the to finish that ball into the goalie of the away team. Long ball. It's still in play, even being right on the sideline. That's going to be a corner kick for the home team. Uh, I'm sorry, that's my fault. Actually, the away team, Rockland. It's about a kick, a corner kick. That can be very dangerous for the home team. And the ball passes through about five, six players. No one made the attempt to kick it. So now they lost possession. That's a good, good effort for a, a counter attack. De Silva with the ball, pass it around to his teammate number nine. And he got kind of lost, I guess. Still, oh, that. Neither one of them possessed the ball, so that should not be a foul. Let's see the rule on the referee. Neither the Silva, neither the goalie had the. Uh, the ball in possession. They kind of end up jumping and hitting each other. The silver laid for a bit on the field. Nothing serious. 
the referee. The referee gives the ball to the away team that they send it all the way in the mash P. Half of the field, the defense kick it far on the other side of the field. It's closer to be a tennis than a soccer, but that's okay. And the ball went out of bounds, so <coughs> that'll be a mash pit possession all the way on the signer on the right corner of the goal for Mashpee. <coughs> Still Mashpee in possession, <coughs> number nine. Dribbling around, passing three people. Nice run on the side of the line. That should be a foul. And the referee didn't take any notes. Still possessing for the Mashpee High School. That was a dangerous game from the Silva. Number seven with a very, very poor attempt towards the goal. Send it right in the goalie's hands. And now we're moving all the way. So one goalie passed the ball to the another goalie. Mr. Luke Olson send that out of bound. The ball. Oh. That was a poor attempt from. Mr. De Silva. That's gonna be a foul kick. Quick execution on the foul. Still Rockland's possessing. Nice dribbling. That's a very long ball for the forward. Fortunately, the ball is. Send the pass, the goalie. And he is about to send the ball back. Very interesting, they make substitutions without really announcing it. Or they can, I guess, high school rules of soccer, which is okay. Number 10 with the ball for Rockland, passing around right at the penalty area. The Silva send it out of bounds. It's gonna be a side throw for Rockland. Quick throw, number 10 with possession, circling around three people. Send it back to the defense. That their line is far out, all the way on the midfield. Good passing. That was pointless attempt. Pass it to no one. Now Mr. De Silva. Nice move with the feet. Keep possessing the ball, taking a couple yards. Oh, come on. It, the ball didn't even left the field. That was a poor throw. And when we don't know what to do with the ball, we just shoot it right out of on the other side of the field. Now it's ended back. Possessing for Mashby High School. Rockland take over the ball. Pretty, pretty <coughs> heavy. It's a free kick from Mashpee High Schools that pass everyone and it's out. The goalie for Rockland is going to send the ball most likely all the way to Mr. Luke Olson, the goalie of the Mashpee High School. Rockland team possessing, number 28 with a side throw. Pass it to number 11. He's trying a numerous tricky cheeky attempts, but he loses the ball. 
Balls is number 10 in possession. After a few dribbles, couple of passes. The ball change possession on both teams. It's literally a game in the midfield. Let's see now, maybe a good attempt from Rockland. Number 10 kicks the ball and Luke Olsen with a nice save. Maybe the first dangerous attempt for tonight or in front of either one of the two goals. Still Rockland in possessing. Let's see number 10, pass it to... That was a poor attempt. Number nine, send it way above and far away from the goal. Number one, Luke Olsen, about to send the ball back in game. It's a far kick past the midfield. And ball is in Rockland's possession. Number seven, pass it to number 10. He's trying his left wing. Unfortunately, the ball, the ball went out in a side throw. And it's a Mashpee High School with a poor attempt past the midfield. Still Rockland with a good game. Currently possessing is mostly for the Rockland, the way team, with one good attempt in front of the Mashpee High School's goal. Unfortunately, the forward and the attacking three of Mashpee High School cannot do anything dangerous in front of the away team's goal. Side throw for Mashpee High School. And the ball number nine, I believe. Send it far in the penalty area. A couple of people underneath the ball. Still in Mashpee possessing. Uh, it was a good idea, good attempt. Fortunately, no one to collect the ball and send it towards the goal. Really the game is in the midfield. Rockland's possessing. Probably 60% possessing for Rockland High School, 44 Mashpee High School. Unfortunately, I don't have the statistics, but based on the first 17 minutes, looks like Rockland are way more organized. with another danger in front of Mashpee High School's goal. Number 10 with the ball, still playing around, dribbling, shoot, and that's a nice save from Mr. Olsen. The crowd for Mashpee High School go nuts of that save. Good attempt on Rockland, good save from Mashpee. Corner kick, low on the grass, and no one there to Intercept. Still Rockland in possessing. Still a danger in front of Mashpee High School goal. Some air balls. That's a nice move. Oh, that's a handball. Come on, referee. It was far away from the shoulder. And they decided to let the goal get, uh, the game to go. Side throw for Mashpee. Balls in midfield, dribbling, nice three-way passing until the midfield of Rockland stole the ball. Currently Lockland, Rockland in possession, number 10, pass it to the left defender. Oh, that's a, that's, a, what is it, offside? Come on, man. Let the kids play.
ball possession for the Rockland Trust. Number 10. That is going to be a foul against number 10. Number 13, Rockland, the Blue Devils, is about to send the ball. They're with the white jerseys. Mashpee Falcons with the blue jerseys. That is almost an all goal from the defender. He sent the ball back to the goalie. Nice clearance from number 15. I believe that's a center defender for the Falcons. Currently the ball in number 10 possession. Number 30 slip. Luke Olson looking for a teammate to send the ball to. That's way beyond the uh, Rockland's defense. Rockland with possession. Nice passing game. That's an offside from number 13. going to be a side troll for the Blue Devils. Far throw, interception. That's a nice ball past the defense. Good clearance from number 15. That will be a side throw for the Falcons. Number nine with the ball. Ball being intercepted. Send it far away. Blue Devils in possession. Number 10. He's trying to find his forward. And striker, which is number 11. Fortunately, the ball was way too strong. Number 10, that was, that's a good attempt. Luke Paulson saves the day from Mashpee. But not a good save. That could have been a very dangerous with a very bad outcome. Defense and the ball is out of bounds. Side throw for Mashpee, number five, towards number 21. Some dribbling in midfield. Unfortunate, poor pass, ball out of bounds. Field. Fortunately, there are no good attempts in front of the Blue Devils go. Mashpee is still trying to get his line straight, trying to keep the ball away from goal. And this is pretty much all they can do. from number three. Mm -hmm. 
Number four wanted the ball to be in match possession. Fortunately, Rockland. There is some passing game in midfield. And the ball is out of bounds. That's going to be a goal kick. Number one. Mr. Olsen is going to send the ball back in game. Actually, play. Let's see if he's going to find any receiver on the other side. For the first time, number 15 trying to possess the ball, pass it to number one. Good game between the lines. Rocklands are pretty, pretty straightforward with their 4 4 2. Always changing position, switching position so fast again. We catch all the numbers and the like, players. Let's see now, nice moves. If you find number nine, side trophy Mashpi. The throw will be played by number four. Most likely a deep throw in the penalty area. Oh, a tricky bicycle kick from number four. Unfortunately, he missed the ball. Olsen sends the ball all the way in Rockland's half. Ball change possession. That is an ad for forward attempt. Unfortunately, number 10. Good. Ball was too long for him. Now Rockland's goal is sent it all the way in front of a mash piece. No danger. Good clearance from the defense. And there will be a corner kick for <coughs> that I believe is a halftime halves break, which is there is 13 more minutes from the first half. There is a quick coach team meetups for both sides. The clock is stopped at 13 minutes and 2 seconds. More like a football game than a soccer. That's okay. Teams are back on the field, at least Rockland. Mashpee High School coach still giving any new ideas, new tactics to the players. Game is still nil nil, mid half, first time. So far, good forward game for Rockland Blue Devils. Good saves for Luke Olsen, Mashpee's Falcons goalie. And we back in game, number 13, to attempt a corner kick. 
the left side of the goalie. Let's see. Send it. Good, good header. Very good header. I believe that's number. Unfortunately, I can't see the number, but that was a good header towards the goal. That's the center D, center defender for Rockland. Yes. <coughs> Long ball, and that's a side throw. Number four. Good move. Unfortunately, they don't bring any danger. And now on the corner, the counter attack, number seven with possessing, sends the ball. That's a way, way long ball. Would she, he, he reached it. Oh, that's a nice goal. Number 11 with a header after a deep throw from the sideline. Possessing, sending the, the board far away from number eight. There will be a side throwing for Mashpee High School. Number four with the side throw. sure if that was an attempt or a pass. The ball is far above the goal. Now rock on goalie. Send the ball back in play. The ball pass about 10-15 players. Rockland's possessing. Good play. Right back. Rockman in possessing with a side throw. Number 13. Still number 13 possessing the ball after a pass with number 11. That was a good, a good move from number 9. Still possessing the ball. You tripped over the ball, man. That'll be a side throw for Mashpee. Number four. from Ashby High School. Goalie for Rockland sends the ball far, far deep in high school's territory. Ashby High School with a fourth attempt, being stuck from the defense. Nice passing. And that is a look Olsen's ball possessing. Goalie for Ashby sends the ball past the half. Find number 15. Fortunately, he couldn't keep the ball. 
And now on the counter move, number 10, 13, lost control of the ball. Mashpi with the play. Number 10, De Silva, showing some skill on the field. Passing two people. The third player stopped them. Still, let's say Mashpi's possession. That questionable. The ball passing to so many people. Number 11 with a good skills. See now, uh, it's a good idea. Unfortunately, the only player there. Number twenty-three, return board to Olson. Silva with a good forward play. Fortunate to play the ball too long. And it was taken by the defender for Rockland. Nice cheeky moves. Unfortunately, the ball was out of play. Side throw for Rockland. Number 20 with the throw. Find the number 7. Passing alongside the field to number 10. He's trying to pass the defense. Of Mashp. Fortunately, they stay strong. Stole the ball. And it's still in Mashp's position. Number 20 defender for Rockland. Sends a on a side throw. Let's see who is going to send the ball back in play for Mashpee. That is. Rockland with possession. Number 11. Oh, that, that should be a foul. That should be a foul. Fortunately, the referee there let the play to let the game to play. Mash be high school. Take control over the ball. Midfield play. Number seven, trying to pass it. Unfortunate. Didn't intercept it. Any teammates to play the ball with? That was that was a good forward play. Fortunately, for Mashpi, Rockland takes the ball and control over the ball. Send it in the. F that was a long attempt. So, Olsen is like a wall in front of that goal. Five minutes left to the end of the first half. The way team is leading by one goal. Mashpis trying to do any desperate attempts, at least to make an effort for a goal. There's so far not an even a strike towards the goal. No real danger for Rockland's goal. Midfield game. The Falcons with possession. The Silva with a good dribble. Poor attempt from our, uh, the penalty box. No real danger for Rockland. The ball is right on the spot. Easy save.
one goalie passing the ball to the other goalie. <coughs> Bias running down and running down the field. Mr. Olsen fight number two. There is Alex Murray from Mashpee. Lost possession. I can fairly say that the first half being dominated by the away team with uh, one, two attempts and one goal. Mashpee didn't really do anything dangerous in front of the Rockland's goal. Rockland's possession, dribbling. Number 11 sends the ball forward. Good passing game. Good possessing. The Falcons takes ball possession. That's a good move from the Silva. Fortunately, the ball was too long for number seven to continue with the attempt. And the ball is out in a side throw for Rockland. And real danger to Mashby's goal. Mashpee. Number five sends the ball and back in play. Side the side throw to number 12. <coughs> Probably will send the ball deep, deep in a penalty area with the tall players 20, number 21, number 16, and number 10. I played a good handball. Goalie for Rockland comes out, punch the ball, and it's still not out of danger, really. It doesn't run with two, it's on the field, sir. Keep the time on the field, sir. Good defense from Mashpee. Number two finds the silver. Now with the ball. I believe that's a half time.
good save from the Rockman goalie. And the ball is out of danger. Side throw for Mashpee High School. Seems the home team is awakened after the half. The coach give a good lead, I guess. Long throw, handball. No, not a handball, headball. Now on the on a counter attack, Rockman with the ball, and it's out of bounds. That's gonna be a side throw. Side throw for Mashby High School. The Falcons with possession. Ball still in game. Ooh, that's that's a foul. Side throw for Mashpee High School. Number five to send the ball back in game. Nice dribble in midfield. Still Mashpee's possession. I guess the referee saw a foul in that game. In that Long ball all the way to the away team's goalie. Who's we'll sending it past the midfield Mashby with the possession long ball on the left side that was a bit of a dangerous game Interceptions, passes around. What is happening with the ball? Number seven with possession moving forward. The silver with the ball. Still in mash piece. Possession. Oh, that's that hit the side bar. Good save from the goalie. And there will be a corner kick from Mashpee High School. Still a danger in front of away team's goal. Number seven for Mashpee is about to send the ball back in game. The ball pass everybody. No one really play with it. And it's out for a side throw for Mashpee. Number 20 with possession. Pass it to number seven. Rockland. Good attempt from Rockland. No real danger to match the high school goal. Olsen looks kicks the ball far, far in Rockland's territory. Number 10. Currently with possession. Pass to number 9. Nice sticky tapa, which maybe can lead to some danger. Rockman on the counter, that's an offside. And that should be a yellow card right there. He played after the whistle. Poor attempt from number 14 of 
the Falcons. Now Rotten's goalie about to send the ball back in game. Ball pass everyone. And it's the hands of Olsen. Who sends it all the way back in Rockwell's penalty area. Let's see if the Falcons can keep possessing the ball. Fortunately not. Mashpi on defense. Sending the ball with some counter attack attempts being stopped by the defense and now it's on a corner counter attack good defense on number three for the home team side throw for Rockland ball send it deep number nine with a clear shot couldn't find the ball Side throw for Rockland. Deep at the midfield. Number nine with a dribble. Pass to number ten. Good attempt. Fortunately, doesn't bring any real goal any real play. Oh, hey. Silva couldn't keep the ball in play. Mash still on the offense. Rockman trying to pass the mid center. I mean the center field. And their attempts are stopped by number 15. Counter attack. Oh, that's a foul. That's a foul. Maybe a penalty. I don't, I'm not sure if it was in the penalty area. Nah, it's not in the penalty area. The crowd's going nuts. There will be a, a foul kick. Not direct attempt towards goal. Most likely the ball will be thrown in the penalty area. Let's we'll see if anyone can play with a head. That's the goal there for Auckland. Good clearance. Still match this possession. And that will be a goal kick. Substitutions for both teams, one for Rockland, three for the home team. Referee gave the signal, the game can continue. The goal sends the ball, right in on the path of the Mashpee High School. Number 16 with the ball. That's the number 21. Good defense on Rockland. That will be a side throw for currently I've been informed that Rockland Blue Devils are performing the best in the league for this season so far. Have a very good discipline on the field. They keep their formation 4-4-2. Score a goal. So, so far, the second half being better for Mashpee High School. There is more play and more attempts in front of the away team's goal. Corner kick for Mashpee High School behind the ball number four, number seven. The 
ball is way long. Send it past everyone. Now it's a counter attack for the Rockland. That was a poor attempt from number nine. No danger for Olsen. And the Long ball all the way on the other side of the field. Currently positioning for Mashpee High School. And that's going to be a side throw. Still Mashpee. Short play. Mashpee with the possession. Playing around, finding, finding a crack for the defense. Ball was way too long for number 10. The silver couldn't reach out of it. <laughs> Side throw for Mashby. Number 5. Trying to find number 10. Still Mashpee with the possession. That's going to be a side throw for the Blue Devils. Number 21. Nice light tackle. No danger for the goalie of Brooklyn. Good forward play for Rockland. Oh, number 10 missed the ball. That was a good play from number 9. I think he should have finished that attack. He looked into passing. So far, pretty intense game. No real danger for the second half. No attempt on goal. Nash currently with the possession. That's a foul. for Olsen. That will be a side throw for the home team. Ball will be sent by number four. Trying to find anyone who's open. Long ball towards 16 who end up playing with the ball, don't find any teammate, and Rockland steals. Ooh, that was a dangerous game. That's a foul right there. Poor attempt way off target. 
get way off. Teammates. And there will be a goal kick. That's a substitution. Number 12 is replacing number 13 on our Brooklyn's defense. Good forward play for Mashpee. Pretty impressive. There is no foul. Rockland's player play with a ball. Finds number 11 for slides for player is still in the Falcons ball possession. Number nine with an attempt being stopped by the defense. Good forward play from Rockland. Mash PD fans hold it. Twenty minutes of the second half are almost passed. Score is still one nil for the away team. throwing for the way team. Fine any team mate. Mashby with a steal. Good good forward player. Okay. Oh the goal is far out of the goal. That was a day. That was a pretty confident game from Mr. Olsen. Forward play for Mashby being stopped by Rockman's defense. Number four, we've got a shot or a pass, nobody knows. Still matched his position, number seven. But a good forward play, anyone to finish that attack? Number seven. Oh, that's a good save from the Rockland's goalie. First dangerous attempt from the home side. That is actually the first shot on target. Saved by the... Devil's goalie. Corner kick. Still match his possession. And not a great save, save from Rockland's goalie. Now we're about to witness a corner kick from the other side of the goal. This time number seven is about to send the ball right in the penalty area. Guess 
against the home team wake up in the second half. There's two attempts on target, two corner kicks. Seems like the possessing of the ball is pretty equal. Let's see now the play in front of Mashpi's goal. The defense strong, holds up, possessing the ball. distance no real danger to the Rockland's goal goal sends the goal the, the ball far away past the half and match through the poor attempt of course for the both teams. Match play with a throw. Good play from the Silva. Finds number eight. Good play in front of the... Is that offside? Yes. That is an offside for number 10, the Silva on the home team. Now Rockland's goal is about to send the ball further in Mashpee's territory. Straight in Olsen's hands. That is a kick from goal to goal. I, I did. Rockland with a good forward play, number 10. It's about to find any of his teammates. Fortunately, the defense of Mashp is really strong. Corner kick for Rockland. After that attempt on goal. Gabriel De Silva with the ball, with a corner attempt from the Mashpee High School. Good play. That should be a penalty. Goal. No, actually it's a goal. Let's see what's going to be the decisions of the referee. Is it going to be a, pe a penalty or a goal? Does the ball end up being in the goal? Before that, the silver was stripped. That is definitely in the penalty area. Let's see the ruling on the field. We need medical team. The, the silver is still on the ground. On the ground. He is warming out the field. And I guess the ruling from the referee is going to be a corner kick? Definitely makes no sense. Yeah, the Silva suffered an injury. He's about to be taken care of the medical team of the home team.
corner kick for the home team. Far off target, far off any team, team players. The ball is on the side of the field. And that's an out. Still some danger in front of the Rockland's goalie. Good clearance from the defense, still possessing. Now maybe a counter attack. It's a two to three. Oh, that's a good counter attack. The, the ball is way too long for any forward attacker. Get on the ball. I throw for Rockland. Still in Rockland's possession. Are we going to? Yeah, we witnessing a yellow card to number nine of Mashpee High School. First yellow card of the game. Also substitution. He's out. He's replacement number six. Wish I can tell you his name. My sheets are up in the boot. Playing midfield. That is a foul against number six. Number 15. To send the ball in any danger to Rockland's goal. Good clearance from the defense. There will be a corner kick for the home team. Number three is about to send the ball back in play. The goalie of Rockland jumps, punch it away. And maybe they, we have now a counter attack. Good attempt. That is a good play from Rockland. There's anyone just to finish that, that attack. Side throw for home team. Falcons in possession. Good pass from number seven. Oh, that's a...
tight throw from Ashby. Ball send it at the penalty area. Clearance, and that's going to be a goal kick for Rockland. Attack on the right side of the field. Possession in Rockland. Good clearance from number four. Is that enough? Maybe. But the ball is out of bounds. Still on the attack. After the quick clearance from the referee, apparently Massachusetts is the only state that in a high school soccer games there are allowed timeouts, which were throwing me off a little bit. But um, in the entire region of New England, Massachusetts is the only state that allows timeouts in a soccer game. After that clearance and after that timeout, we have 6 minutes and 54 seconds on the board. The game is about to be starting from the right side of the goal for Mashby. Number 13 from Rockland sends it in. A header, and that was a pretty close attempt on goal. Olsen didn't really have any. Movement or vision to save that. Thank God it was out of the frame. Well, that was kind of a dangerous game, but... Let's see the rolling on the field. We're having a side troll for Rockland. Long ball. Good defense on Mashpi, number seven. Sending the ball in a side throw. Almost. Number five for a side throw. Are they going to keep positioning? Unfortunately, no. Side throw from Mashby. And the ball is back out of bounds. I believe Mashpi is just trying to push the ball back to the goal. Rockland's unfortunate attempt. That is a good counter attack. 
unfortunate. The ball was way too long for number 10. And that's Mashpi, number 12. That's number 16. Pass it to number 21. Rockland steals the ball. Good counter attack. Defense. from a goal kick Look. and the ball is sent. The side throw. Still match the possession. Is that a clearance or a pass? Hard to tell. They're kicking the ball, kicking each other. Still match the possession. Good opportunity, bad execution from number seven in the home team. Ball is way up, way far. No real danger to the Rockland's goalie. Dangerous play against number five from the home team. Something between a soccer and a karate. Good attempt on attack. Number eight with a header. Oh, no troubles for Olsen, who sends the game way on the other side of the field. Oh, Choi will. <laughs> The referee was way too far to see the home team was expecting a handball in the penalty area. Fortunately, the referee was way far out of the action. Couldn't tell, didn't call it. possession got the ball another foul this time against the silver there's some arguing over the ruling of the field number five no, number 15 send the ball good clearance from the away team Rockland with possessing and a good corner attack opportunity. Number four, good defense. Oh, that was that was a nice effort with a good goal. Olsen couldn't do anything in this situation. Currently the score is 2-0 for the away team. With a two minutes on the clock. Good control from number 10. Good. 
Wait. Being informed by the referee that we're down to the last five minutes of the game. Brooklyn with uh, forward attempts, still in possessing. Number seven, give it on the right wing. And that was the last whistle of the game. Home team lose by two goals from the away. Rockland with Blue Devils. Fortunately for the Mashby High School, the Falcons. That is a loss. But hey guys, hope to see you next time. From Mashby TV, my name is Evan Penef. Jake on the camera, up in the boot. Thank you very much.